Hello children, welcome to program I Love Science. So you know about electricity and good conductors and bad conductors of electricity. All good conductors, metals like iron, copper, silver, aluminium, they allow electricity to flow through them. That is why they are called good conductors of electricity. And they are bad conductors, also called insulators like plastic, rubber, etc. They do not allow electricity to flow through them. But what about human body? What do you think human body is a good conductor or a bad conductor of electricity? Let's find out from a small experiment. So we have this very simple circuit to test the human body. We have this, these two cells, two AA cells making up three volts and they are connected through these connectors and when I connect this to the LED, the LED lights up. So that means the current is flowing through these wires which are made of a metal and then the LED lights up. But if I want to test the conductivity of a human body, then I will try to make the current flow through our body. So instead of connecting the plug directly here, I can connect my, it with my finger and on the other side, I will connect my other finger and then see if the bulb lights up. Now you see it does not light up. So that means human body is a bad conductor. Not really. Actually, if you look at it very closely, you will see that LED is glowing very dim. Let's take a closer look. See this. Uh, you see, if I connect to this, then it lights up. If I remove my finger, it goes down, but it is allowing a little bit of current so that the LED can glow a little dim. So this experiment showed that our human body is neither a good conductor nor a very bad conductor of electricity. It's in between or a medium conductor. Because our body contains salts and other chemicals, they allow some electricity to pass through. Uh, if you do this experiment, then maybe some other LED may not light up because it may be of a different rating and may need higher current uh, to light up. Uh, so you can try uh, connecting through this by making your fingers wet and then see if the LED lights up. But here is a very strong caution. Never, never attempt to do, do this experiment with mains electricity that we get in our house. That is 220 volts and it can give you an electrical shock which can be very dangerous. It can be fatal and the person who is doing that experiment can die. Always do this experiment with a very low voltage thing like these 3 volts here. Okay? So enjoy, be safe.